cooler. But as it melts and the open ocean receives that sun's energy instead, more than 90% is absorbed. So there is a faster buildup of heat here at the North Pole in the Arctic Ocean and the Arctic generally than anywhere else on the planet. That's not good for creatures like polar bears who depend on the ice. A new scientific study shows that for the first time they're finding polar bears that have actually drowned, swimming long distances, up to 60 miles to find the ice. And they didn't find that before. But what does it mean to us to look at a vast expanse of open water at the top of our world that used to be covered by ice? We ought to care a lot because it has planetary effects. The Earth's climate is like a big engine for redistributing heat from the equator to the poles. And it does that by means of ocean currents and wind currents. They tell us, the scientists do, that the Earth's climate is a nonlinear system, just a fancy way they have of saying that the changes are not all just gradual. Some of them come suddenly in big jumps. On a worldwide basis, the annual average temperature is about 58 degrees Fahrenheit. If we have an increase of five degrees, which is on the low end of the projections, look at how that translates globally. That means an increase of only one degree at the equator, but more than 12 degrees at the pole. And so all those wind and ocean current patterns that have formed since the last ice age and have been relatively stable, they're all up in the air and they change. And one of the ones they're most